All right. Week 10, right around the corner. <laughs> well, I mean, this is around the corner as a week gets. Um, we start Thursday night. Um, obviously, I'm not going to watch, but, I mean, you can. You tell me what's going to happen Thursday night. If you want something else Thursday night. Um, the Chargers are taking on the Raiders, man. It's going to be an interesting game, to say the least. Um, I know what's not going to be interesting. That's the Giants and the Jets, you know. But it's just a dumpster fire of a game. Don't even turn that on. Falcons, Saints, same thing. Don't even turn it on. You know, the, I think the Falcons are just absolutely garbage. You know, just, just it, it's a dumpster fire down there in hot Atlanta right now. And the Saints, oh, boy, they got Drew Brees back. And, you know, the Falcons defense is just not there. Oh, boy, that is going to be a recipe for disaster. Chiefs taking on the Titans. Now, that is going to be pretty interesting. You know, the Titans are... They're a middling type team. They're just kind of there, but it's like they're also not there. They play competitively, but it's just like I don't even know what to say about them ever since they benched Marcus Mariota. You know, and the Chiefs, uh, I'm pretty sure that Patrick Mahomes isn't going to be back. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, the Ravens are also taking on the dumpster fire, the only winless team in the NFL, and that is the Bengals. Oh, boy, this could be bad, it, it, considering that the Bengals just played uninspiring football all season. You know, this could be really, really bad for, for the Bengals. This could be really bad for their defense. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta feel for A.J. Green now. That, that dude should be gone from, from the Bengals team. He, this, he, does, you know, he does not deserve this. Uh, Bills taking Browns. The Browns just—I don't even know at this point. They're—they're they're just a living dumpster fire. Just absolutely terrible. Um, so the Bills, um, you know, they should take care of business, but who knows? Browns might make it a game. Uh, cards, Bucks. It's also going to be a game that exists solely for the purposes of why? Why does this game exist? Um, James Winston, the turnover factory. His time is about to come to an end. I'm going to tell, I'm going to be real with y'all. His time is coming to an end. You know, it, sometimes it's not even his fault. Like last week, the defense messed up last week, but he still made a turnover. He still had a like a fumble that was recovered. You know, but the cards cards are an interesting sort themselves. You know, um, they got some stuff going on, and then in the end, at the same time, you know, that's just. Why? Lions, Bears, same thing. The Bears are just looking like a numbster fire right now. They don't know what their identity is. Uh, they're supposed to be this run heavy team that's not supposed to rely on Mitchell Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky makes way too many mistakes. The Lions, they've been just out of luck all season long. You know, they've got three wins, so they maybe should have like five at the very least. Uh, Dolphins, Colts, there's no Jacoby Brissett. And the Dolphins are bad, even though they got their first win. The Dolphins are still trash. Panthers, Packers, it's going to be very interesting. Let me tell you, it, it's going to be a one heck of a game. You got Christian McCaffrey going up against Aaron Rodgers. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be something, man. It's going to be, you know, the first real interesting game of the day. Let me tell you, and you know. I think it's a testament. It's going to be another tough test for the Packers. You know, Chargers blindsided them last week, and I think you know they're starting. They're starting to play. You know, better teams and stuff like that. You know, it's finally about that time. You know, is it going to be? You know, oh hey, Aaron Rodgers is our only star player, and, 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 and you know we can't live without him. So it, it's not. It's, are, we, are we going to go with the not? magical bullshit that gets pulled out of Aaron Rodgers' ass. You know, are we going to go with that Aaron Rodgers that just can't seem to get the Packers to win? Or are we going to get the, the same old Aaron Rodgers that can throw Hail Marys for 50 yards or something like that? You know, it's going to be interesting to see what the Packers can do because they got ran over Melvin Gordon. Rams, Steelers, now just because... 
this game is also at 325 doesn't mean anything. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. The Rams have been kind of kind of there, but then again, not there at the same time the last couple weeks now. And the Steelers are getting back on track. It's about time for them, too, you know. There's been some quarterback struggles. You know, you got Duck, Delvin Hodges, and Mason Rudolph for the Steelers. And you know, the Steelers have been quiet under my watch for a while. So this game should be very interesting for them. You know, looks like the Dolphins and Colts got relegated to the 305 game. So keep your eyes on the Panthers, Packers, and the Rams, Steelers, just to be just to be sure. Um, Monday night, before we get into the game that I care about the most, um, Monday night is going to be a doozy, but am I going to watch it? Hell no. It's Monday night football. I've already done my one Monday night football game this year, and that was for the Cowboys. I despise Monday night football with a passion. Booger McFarland is terrible. Uh, Joe Testor, he, he just sounds like he doesn't want to be there. You know, I, I there was this... This this other guy, this referee guy that was like, you know, you know how all the NFL booths have, like have this referee, uh, referee analyst now. It's just like, no, 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 I don't want to do it. But the 49ers are undefeated. They're taking on the Seahawks, baby. And the Seahawks, the 49ers is going to be one heck of a game, let me tell you, off the bat. Unless something happens, you know, to which each their own, you know, 49ers defense is real good. Seahawks defense, not so much, but when the Seahawks defense gets something going, they get it going. But, you know, it's all going to be on Russell Wilson. It's all going to be on Jimmy G. Did I forget to mention the whole Jimmy G thing that happened when he was trying to get inside Aaron Andrews' DMs last week? Or rather, inside Aaron Andrews. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, really, really going to be an interesting game. Um, there's not much I can really say about the Seahawks, honestly, because I just haven't watched a lot of their games. <laughs> or the 49ers, I've watched some, but not all, you know. But now, let's get into the real nitty gritty. Kirk Cousins is coming to Big D. He's coming to Big Dallas. And what are we what are, what are we gonna do? You know, we got a big victory tonight against the Giants, you know, that we needed to stay atop the division. And we we need more victories like this to keep the division lead. We need to get a game up on the Eagles, because I don't think the Eagles are playing this week. They are not playing this week. You know, we should get this big victory this week against the Vikings. You know, the Vikings, when they play bad, they play bad. So, you know, just need to limit Kirk Cousins. We need to limit Dalvin Cook. We need to keep Thielen and Diggs. I think Thielen's injured. We need to keep Diggs, you know, out of the way. You know, get Kirk Cousins on the ground. Get D-Log. Get Robert Quinn. Get, get pretty sure Banter S should be back. You know, get Jalen Smith. You know, get all them cats out there and on Kirk Cousins. Get him on the ground. That's what we need to do. And as far as the offense goes, you know what we need to do. Feed, seek. Feed Amari Cooper. We need to throw the ball efficiently. Let's not, let's not, you know, go back to what happened during those first couple plays of that game against the Giants. Let's not do that. Let's not, let's, that, don't be that guy that throws like four interceptions against the, the Packers do not be that guy. You can do this, but it should be a good game anyway. You know, good way to end. Up, good way to end a Sunday of football because Monday night football is trash and Thursday night football is trash. Only watch games on Sundays. To be completely honest with you, and I know that's a Thursday night game with the Cowboys in a couple weeks. I know I'm going to watch it because it's the Cowboys. You know, uh, that's going to do it, y'all. I'm going to. Wake up in the morning and, you know, recap college football. Because, man, let me tell you, you, th you thought, you thought it was, you thought it was going to be not crazy, but it ends up being crazy anyway, you know. So that's going to do it. Good night, y'all. Take care. Go to bed. Get, you know, go, go do something. See y'all tomorrow.